Hey guys, this is DK Smiles, and welcome to the Wildstar Public Test Realm. Uh, so this is all updated with some of the patch notes that they're going to be coming with, or the patch update for when the game goes free to play. As you can tell, for anyone that's watched any of my other videos, that there is a little bit of a distinction right now with the character creation. I don't have any characters on the public test realm, but hopefully as I go through this, I'll show you guys the difference in the character creation and maybe check out the tutorial as well as we prepare for the free to play transition for Wildstar. So I know a lot of people liked the Wildstar videos when I first started the channel up, so hopefully this will bring back some nostalgia for you guys. So let's do this, let's just create a new character. Let's see, my novice, a new to Wildstar. Already a Wildstar veteran, start here to go straight to the surface of Nexus. No MMOs, but not Wildstar. Start here to learn combat and story of Wildstar. Rise and shine, awaken aboard your faction's Ark ship just in time to save the day. So I do know that the Ark ship is a lot different, uh, at least in terms of the tutorial. So maybe I'll do Wildstar so we can see the... Uh... Oh wow, this is really cool. Look at that, everybody's bald. Why is everybody bald? Okay. So, we've got our two different factions here. We got the Dominion, red dudes over here that look like a boss, and we got the Exiles. And I love uh, just the combinations. You got the humans, like right here, like the two human looking races. Then you got like the two big races on each side. The two different unique races, the Mordash and the uh, the, Drac the Draken. And then you got these little two rabbit dudes on the bottom. So, I think I'm going to play as... Hmm, I want to play as a Mordash. A Mordash just sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we got male and female of both races. I'm gonna play as a female Mordesh. That just sounds like a good idea to me. How do I... Oh, okay. Let's go Mordesh. Continue to the class. I've got my... Oh, geez. She did not look as good as the last person did. So you've got Engineer. I've already played Engineer. You can't play the Esper. Medic. Spell Slinger, which is the dual... Pistols, the Stalker, and a Warrior. I like playing as Warrior classes just because I like that melee combat style. Uh, the Stalkers are assassins without equal, prowling like silent predators. They use stealth and razor sharp claws to cut their enemies to ribbons. So I think one of the things I really enjoy playing as is a Paladin type class, and I don't know. They don't really, they technically don't really have a Paladin in this game. Let's see, armed with a power, pair of powerful resonators, medics can heal allies while inflicting loads of agonizing trauma on the enemy. I'm going to pick as a warrior because I like playing melee, but hopefully I can have some... Uh... Oh, see, I like to play as a tank. Do they have... I know the engineer... No, which one is it? Uh, confirm. Oh, jeez, that's not what I wanted. Confirm. Uh, medic can be healer or range, DPS, healer, range, stalker, tank melee, tank melee. Armor class previews. Nice. I like the weapons in the game though, especially the two-handed swords. Heck yeah! Okay. Well, let's start off with this. I don't usually play this kind of person. Let's play as a soldier. I just enjoy kicking trash and kicking butt. Since I've already checked out all the other things. I haven't checked out a soldier yet. Now here's the character customization. As you can tell previously so far, things already look quite different so we've got some presets right here that actually looks sick i think i'm gonna keep that that looks oh my gosh that looks amazing not actually i'm gonna change the eyes i'm not a big fan of the eyes um can i not there's only a couple of eye colors i'm gonna go with like a dark purple i feel like that matches her tone oh do you see that her like glowing stuff kind of changed uh, let's find a good one that kind of matches her character style. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do the blue like that. That actually looks really, really cool. For those of you who don't know, Mortis are kind of like a zombie, like the undead creations in this game. But I like how they're on like the sort of the alliance side, the uh, the exiles, the exiles. Body type. I'm gonna keep the body type. Skin color. Let's go. I like that light blue. That looks really, really nice, actually. Uh, hair color. I like the I like the purple hair color. Where did that go? Actually, what are some other ones? Red, light blue. I, like this. I actually like that blue right there. Let's make her kind of a blue character. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's go. Continue to finalize. Here we go. We got experience due to Wildstar. I picked the Mordesh race as a female. Soldier path. Customization. Let's name her. Let's name her. I always like the name Serena. 
I don't know why. Last name, Serena. Uh, da, 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 da. Serena Reaper. Serena Reaper. Enter game. The exiles, driven off their planets by the Dominion, have been desperately searching for a new homeworld while being relentlessly hunted across the stars. But in their darkest hour, they discovered the planet Nexus, the fabled homeworld of the Elden, who disappeared from the galaxy long ago. Exhausted, but full of hope, the Exiles prepared their ancient starships for one final journey to Nexus. And that is where their true adventure begins. Species, Wardish. Former homeworld, Grismara. Greetings. The Arkship Gambler's Ruin has arrived in the Nexus system. But your cryo bay is experiencing technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Hello. You're different somehow. Special. I need your help. Nexus has many secrets, and when the time is right, I will show them to you. Hmm. That glitch was unusual. There appears to be an inconsistency with your cryopods extraction protocols. Data corruption probable. I wish you luck, Grismarin. May your people find a cure on Nexus. I'm sorry, sir. Our last jump to the Nexus system overloaded the reactor in that section. This ship is more than three centuries old, and... Just find that cryopod. She's gotta be there. Sadie. Sadie Brightland. I know the name, Mr. Brightland. Just call me Deadeye. Now quit arguing, and get my wife out of cryo. Internal sensors are out. Ship's records are unreliable at best. Wait, I think I found it. Functioning pod. Firing up the retrieval system. Magnetic clamps released. Lucky for you, you found her. Sandy Dawn and I'm on. Hey! Hey, be careful! Sorry! The hydraulics are leaking. Hold on. Damn. The records were wrong. This isn't her. She's in a different silo. Fine. Then whoever you just woke up is gonna help me track her down. Reanimation nearly complete. All vitals look solid. Good. We're gonna need every able-bodied exile we've got. All right, everybody. It looks like we're back in the game. Um, so far. I Man, it's been a while since I've played the Exile faction, but it does look a lot different from the uh, the last time that I played. I know if I wanted to, I could jump over to this guy, or this lady, Marissa Scam. Transport character to the core test hub, which would be interesting because I'm on the private test server. But I just want to run through the tutorial, see if it's a little bit different from the last time I played. And it does, it does look quite a bit different. So let's go talk to Bright Eye Deadland. I ain't one to ask for help. But I got no damn choice. All right, I'll help you. Cryo crisis. My wife's stuck in one of those cryopods. The Dominion saboteur, 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 saboteur. Bots are attacking. And I need help to find her and save her. I'll help you find your wife. I got your back. Got it. You get this done. Hopefully, the tutorial is a lot better than the last time that I was playing. 
Interactive objects, don't show me tutorials of this type. Don't show me any tutorials. I don't need tutorials. I played this game bef long before. Ooh, okay, that was weird. She ain't looking too good. She's got the cryo sickness. We need to get her to med bay and fast. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta do some uh, maneuvering around of my interface. Ooh, they've got the uh, the cash shop up and running. So maybe at the end of the video, I'll run through a quick destroyed sabotage bots. Oh. Oh, he's about to explode. Oh no, you just did some kind of a move. So they've intro they introduced you to combat a little bit earlier in the game than previously. At least as far as I can remember. It's been such a long time since I've played through the tutorial. Looks like we're heading up this way. Ride the tram. Yeah, for some reason I feel like the tutorial is a lot faster than the one previously was. Which I, I find it a good thing. Just get us out of the tutorial faster. Hang on, Sadie. We'll be there soon. Gotta admit, friend, I'm surprised we made it this far. Us exiles, we've been on the run from the Dominion for a long time. And this old ship's on her last leg. Strange to think that we might just finally get a new home. I wouldn't exactly call myself personable. But I feel like if we all just stick together, we might just be okay. And I ain't above shooting anyone who thinks different. It looks like we're here. I'm obliged for your help, friend. Glad I didn't kill you. So I apologize that the graphics actually look a little bit lower than than high. Let me see if I can go and check. Oh wow! They've, uh, they've changed the interface around, which is really, really nice. Let's see, let's look at the video. It looks a little bit different, I think, compared to what it was before. Let's turn this up to high. Okay, go back into the game. Let's see, things do look different from the last time that I played, at least. I'm enjoying playing as my character, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't play uh, females very often. Med bay. Let's see. Investigate the cause of malfunctioning bots. So it's this way. Actually, I know it isn't. Oh, for some reason, weird stuff's been happening. Kill Dominion bots. Yeah, this is way different from before. I feel like it's giving me a greater purpose. Oh, there's like Dominion guys in here. One of these are like Dominion prisoners. The way that they've set it up though, um, it makes you feel like you're more in a conflict with the Dominion than you were previously before. Gosh, I love the the swords in this game. Okay, we are safe from the sabotagers. Saboteurs. Take the teleporter to the command deck. Wow, that was actually really fast. Teleporter. It definitely feels like they're, they move you through the tutorial a lot faster than they previously did. Oh yeah, because I don't remember reaching the command deck until way later in the game. Commander Stonebreaker, we've arrived in the Nexus system. Stabilizers read go for geosynchronous orbit. Preparing to launch expeditionary. Warning. Impact detected. Hostile ships now in range. Under attack! Battle stations! Oh crap. Okay, there's Commander Durek, who's like 300 years old or something like that. Now what is it? Deck Sweeper. They don't stand a chance, sir. Kill Draken and Mikari. I just leveled up. My first level. Oh, what's this? Alright. I think I've noticed there has been some improvements to stability, as far as I'm concerned. Huh. I think I'm just not used to the combat 
Oh, you, with the uh, with these warrior guys. When a queen says critical situation, it's probably a good idea to listen. Okay. Yeah, geez, I'm moving through this really fast. I don't remember it take like being this short. Maybe I just wasn't playing it like the last way it was. Okay, so I remember this room with the asteroid. Um, I know they were tr they were gonna change the tutorial, but let's. I mean, it doesn't look too different. Maybe they. Oh, excuse me. Maybe they've improved on just a couple of little things. I'm listening. I'll take care of you, Green Thumb. I'll save the veggies. Rescue veggies. What are veggies? Oh, over here. I'm not supposed to make it personal. This time, it is. You're gonna do Chua Incinerator? No! And then save these little dudes. Yeah, this this was definitely in the uh, the last one. I remember. And then lead them to the safe planter. Oh, jeez. Aha! I exploded him into meat sack. Okay, guys, come over here. Now we can call it in. I got another one. Wow, I'm already level three. Kill Dominion troops. It could be because the last time I was playing, I was playing as a, uh, what are they called, an explorer? So I had to like explore the area. And when I did that, it took me quite a long time to get things done, so. Knock him down. That's a fun, fun little thing. For any of you guys that know, I would love it. Love to know if I can actually get some sort of healing ability with the uh, the warrior class. Is that what I'm called? I think that's what I'm called. Let's do this. Whoa! Ha! I can knock him down. If I. It seems like the uh, I'm. It's taking me a lot longer to kill the the war bot than it used to. I don't know if it's because they increased the difficulty for him. I hope they did though. Destroy the Eradicator war bot. That's what I'm working on. Get out of there! Boom! Easy peasy. Let me take the teleporter. Teleporter. Man, I'm gonna be in and out of this tutorial like it's nobody's business. Okay, let's see what my next quest is once it pops up. I hope one of the biggest things that they do change though is stability on the game, because that'd be so nice. Because that's one of the things that kind of made me stop my my Let's Play series was just because of the... Because I remember I entered something similar to this docking bay and it just went to town on my frame rate. Okay, before I jump onto the planet next, I'm just gonna go through some of the interface options, see if they changed anything around, uh, see if anything looks different. So we definitely know that the escape key, this looks different than the last time that I was that I looked at it. Enable alien effects, double tapping, direction key will make you dash in that direction. Okay, that's, um, yeah, I know that. Vertical sync, eliminate screen sharing. If V-Sync is on, limits maximum FPS if Okay. Hopefully that that works. I hope you'll continue helping and not just Yes. To Protostar right revolutionary right. rucksack. That's new. Just a hop, skip and Going to my inventory. I don't know where that went. I, I think it went Oh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's cuz I have to talk to Professor Rhoda Wellspring. Okay, let's go through the inventory a little bit more. Um, let's see if they've updated the The amps, they all look pretty much the exact same as they were before. I've got some support and I got utility, which is good. Automatic, automatic surge, deals nine technology damage. Do I have anything that resembles healing at all? Defensive grid, emergency reserves. Restores 101 shields. That'll come in handy a little bit later if I'm gonna build as a tank character. Wow, first of all, that thing looks sweet. What the heck? 
looks awesome. I want to look like that. Okay. Uh, okay, now before I jump on, let's check out the cash shop. Let's see if they've got it up and running. Okay. Well, don't... Oh, jeez. What the heck is happening? Stop moving. Thank you. All right, guys. Here's the cash shop. Let's kind of go through some of the different things that they've got. They've got featured right now. It looks like we've got a mount, the Dreg Racer Ready to Ride, the setup, signature, setup to signature, so like if you want to boost up to the signature payment model. It's not like a payment model, but like whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but you know what it's called. Just look up at the website. Okay, find your fortune today. Get ready for prizes from Madame Faye. So, fortune coins. Fortune coin. One fortune coin from Madame Madame's fortunes to acquire treasures and have a chance to receive rare and unique items. I have 4,000 PRT end coins. Let's just get the nine pack. Purchase. Claim item from account inventory. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I got a bunch of other stuff too. What the heck is all this stuff? Costume. Oh, it's, oh, and I got a mount. Bind to character, confirm. Let's grab that one as well. It looks like they've given me some dies. Extractor mount customization. That's pretty cool. Friendly furlop. It's a companion. Bind a character. Let's just grab all this stuff for fun. Immortal miner. It's a costume head. I already got one right there. Let's grab bind a character and confirm. I got a bunch of other ones too. Okay. So I should be able to go into my inventory now. Let's see. <laughs> That's awesome. And where's my mount? Oh, it's right there. You can't use this mount right now. Ah. And my pet. Where's my pet at? I can't remember where my collect. I'm pretty sure it's in collectibles. Pets. There's my little pet, dude. Look at that. Summon the pet. Fun. Okay, let's go back to the cash shop. Find your fortune today. I, where did I can't remember where I put those. Let's see. We got some hollow wardrobe stuff. You got a couple of different cool little armors going on. Let's grab one of these. Purchase with PR end coins. I think end coins are their premium currency that you can get in the in the game. Claim from item shop. Buy into account. Confirm. Okay. Go back to the cash shop. And it looks like we've also got these loyalty. Points. As you play the game, you get more and more loyalty points, which will then you'll unlock something. So I've got Northern Lights die once I get 6,000 more points. Then you've got your PTR Omni bits and your PTR end coins, which are the different premium currencies. You got service coins. You serve coins to recustomize at the sh chop shop. So probably a re-roll. Flask of advancement. So it's probably an increased experience gains from PvP paths and quests. Sky remodel. That's for your housing. And then personal bank slot unlock. So I'm gonna add an additional slot to your character's personal bank, max eight. Then if you're a signature, you can buy a signature right now. So you have the different bonuses and stuff like that, which cost, I'm not gonna go into that right now, actually. Deluxe upgrade bundle. I have enough if I wanna buy that. Hollow wardrobe, which I showed you. Housing, decor, and remodel. I hope they don't do too much with the housing with the cash shop, because I actually enjoy the fact that you can unlock a lot of it through the game. You got different ground mounts. Consumables, you got unlocks, account unlocks, auction and bid limits. Oh, that's not going to be very fun. I hate bid limits. Costume slot unlock, character slot unlock, decor limit. Hopefully that's that's not too restrictive on people. Character unlocks, expert writing license, personal bank slots. Crafting, conveniences, harvesting multi-tool, which probably makes it faster for you to craft. And personal rune, rune crafting station. That's actually really nice. Hopefully that doesn't give bonuses to people that actually play the game. Um, oh my gosh, where's the... Okay, so it looks like they've actually changed the way that this looks. Yeah, oh yeah, they've definitely changed a lot of the, the character's interface system. I can't see my face. I don't like that. So hopefully they, they adjust the scaling on this. And you got all the different stats right here. And it looks like, I know that they were planning on changing the stats on the bottom. So you've got just regular assault power, support power, max health, max shield and average item level well, that's actually really nice i'm glad that they did that and then you can go to your costumes open hollow wardrobe 
Nice. Now I should be able to. I don't remember. Costume one. Where in the world? Account inventory. Here we go. I think this is where my. Yes. Find a character. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. This sweet armor. So I can see that there might be a little bit of worry when it comes to the cash shop for the game. Um, nothing too significant, but I could see that some of those crafting stuff could make it easier for... Uh, but hold on, hold on, let me say this. It'll make it easier, but it, I won't say that it'll make it better. That's a better way to put it. Alright, here's my character. Freaking baller. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she looks awesome. I feel like a high level character right now. Okay, let's talk to Professor Rhoda something. Well, Rhoda Wellspring, Rhoda Wellspring, which is over here. With my sweet, sweet, sweet looking dude. Do that, I mean. Hey there, Exile. Welcome to Planet Nexus. This here is about the most famous planet in the whole galaxy. One's home to the legendary Elden that I'm sure you've heard plenty about. From what we've seen so far, the whole planet's chock full of unexplored frontiers, powerful ancient technology, and a whole lot of crazy alien critters. And all that being said, Nexus has got its share of secrets. And one of the biggest ones is figuring out how come the Elden ain't here, and what exactly happened to him. From what I hear, you're the kind of person who gets things done. So we're counting on you to get some answers. Alright, I will. So it looks like I've got two different options, actually, for where I want to go. Which is actually really- oh wow, look. This is way different from before. You didn't have to walk on this, you had, you had to like, just teleport yourself over to the ship. But this one's actually cooler. One thing I will say, before I leave the tutorial zone, is just with that last little cutscene that they showed us, it looks like they're trying to emphasize a little bit more on story and the reason why Nexus is such a cool planet. Okay, so now I can either go to the Northern Wilds or the Greenleaf, Greenleaf Glade. Now, I remember for the Exiles before when I picked the uh, the Gronok race, I got sent, I, I want to say it was the Northern Wilds. I could be wrong because it was like a cold place with snow, and I told you guys it was like one of my favorite things. So let's see what the green leaf, green leaf glades lead us to. Shuttle two, y'all are clear to launch. I hear tell Everstar Grove's just about the prettiest place on Nexus, which ain't surprising since it's named after Queen Mayala herself. You see her? Tell her I said hi. Okay, so this is definitely different from where I landed the last time. This could be because I picked the Mordash race. Um, so I'm just going to put that that out there because I could have just easily picked this race and it made where I landed in the world a lot different than before. The map still kind of bugs me just a little bit. Northern Wilds. Okay, yes. So I know for a fact that the Northern Wilds is where I was at before. You land right here. You go through, meet an encampment right here, and then come back down. So yeah, so... I don't remember the option to be able to pick which way I, I could go, but I'm not gonna lie. If this is the Mortis starting zone, I might just go back through and start a Mortis Let's Play. If you guys enjoyed this video for checking out the PR server and checking out uh, what's up with the Wildstar free to play transition, and if you guys actually enjoyed uh, my Mortis, if you wanna see a Mortis Let's Play, if you enjoyed this scenery a little bit better than the snow place, then please let me know. Leave a comment down below, leave a like, and maybe I'll do a Mortis Let's Play. I actually really enjoy uh, this warrior Mortis. It could be just because I got all the sweet loot. But thanks guys so much for watching this episode of Wildstar and kind of giving you a first look of the 
upcoming patches and updates to the game when it goes free to play. Thanks so much, and my name's DK Smiles, signing out. Signing out? Okay, never mind. That sounded really weird. See you guys.